Hey Nobu ones, welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking and today we are looking at my new set of Samurai armor. In other words, this one here. Now of course I'm going to put it on, I'll give you first impressions, pros and cons, but I will also be sharing it with my previous set of Samurai armor. Most importantly, make sure to watch until the end because today I'm going to reveal the link where you can buy this one, this very chest piece. I'm going to sell it for an incredible price and together with my full previous set of Samurai armor. I'll tell you why in a minute, but for now, let's check this one out. So why am I selling this armor? Well, the previous one is quite old, it's sort of worn out. Uh, most of it looks still pretty good. The inside leather uh, backing it doesn't look very good at all, but uh, then again you don't see it when you've got the armor on and, and it can be replaced. So that's why I'm selling it, because I don't need to. Still in good conditions, but again, I don't need it if I got a new one. But why am I selling the new one? Well, I'm not selling the entire set. I'm gonna keep everything but the chest plate. So the helmet I'm happy with, shoulder plates, arms, so kote. I'm going to keep the haidate, so the protection, the sort of apron protection for your thighs. I'm going to keep the, the suneate or shin guards, the greaves. So the only thing is that the chest doesn't fit me. So this uh, set of armor that I got from Iron Mountain Armory, this is actually what they call a display set, meaning that I got it discounted because it's the sort of armor that they use to take pictures. They usually keep it for a year and then they sell it at a lower price. It's, it's still in fantastic conditions, of course. It looks absolutely new. But when I bought it, I knew that it might have been a little small. So I decided, hey, you know what, I'm going to try it. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to make a few videos about it, a few Patreon specials, uh, pictures on all my social media platforms. And then if it doesn't fit, I'll just sell the chest and get a new chest, this time custom made. But I'll put it at a great price. So whoever lucky among you gets to uh, purchase this new door or chest piece, you get to have it immediately as I'll ship it the next day. When it comes for those who are interested in my previous set of armor, as I say, absolutely check all the pictures because that one has been used. It's frigging battle worn. I mean, that thing has been used for combat, for filming, for riding. I've done so many things with that set of armor, but it is my historical samurai set of armor. I bought it towards the very beginning of my channel. It's been with me the entire time. So I think it's kind of cool if it goes to one of you noble ones, because you can then say, hey, you know, all those videos on the Metatons channel, it's this set of armor. I own it now. So starting with the cuirasses or door. So the new one, of course, belonging to the Date clan. This is what is called a Nimai Hotoke Do, where Nimai just means that it's made of two pieces, basically a breastplate and a backplate. Hotoke is the way the Japanese say Buddha, one of the ways to say Buddha. And this specific type of cuirass, which I find very beautiful, has a smooth-faced breastplate and backplate. It doesn't have segments. In a way, this should be resembling of the bellies, round bellies of Buddha statues. It's more of a new style of armor design, if you will. Sort of similar in a way to the very expensive Nambando, so the ones imported from Western style armor sets. And historically, even Tokugawa Ieyasu wore one of these. The previous one, which was a Takeda clan set, the door was completely different, as you can see. It's a Okegawa Nimai door, traditional, so again, breastplate and backplate, but as you can see, the cuirass is made with horizontal plating, or segments, if you will. Now, I personally like both, but they're completely different styles. Well, 
When it comes to the Sode, the style is basically identical, it's just a matter of different color palette. The new one has got blue and yellow accents with a little gold trimming, and the old one is pretty much the same, you can see it has been used, but that can be put back to shape. Very, very comfortable protection for the shoulders. The high date in the new one you might think it's like going back a little bit but it's much simpler design lots of segments but no decoration on the segments apart from the actual blue accented threads what can i say there is beauty in simplicity In the previous one instead, we didn't have smooth segments or scales. In this case, we had fully decorated ones. Don't get me wrong, it's absolutely gorgeous and still in excellent condition. When it comes to the cote, so the protection for the arms, they are very similar, but not identical. The difference is mostly in the upper part where you've got thinner and longer scales on the old one and wider and shorter scales on the new one. Now, a few years ago, I made a movement and mobility test. You can see that on the right with the older set of armor and putting this one on as well. First thing I'd like to say that, of course, the fact that the chest plate doesn't really fit me. Believe it or not, it's still comfortable. The only problem is that I basically have zero protection on the sides because they're open since I can't close them shut. Also, the shin protection, the suneate, still haven't been delivered because I'm having all three types. So heavy, medium and light being manufactured for me at the same time. So I'm not wearing those for this test, but everything else is great like the arms the shoulders our samurai armor still is fantastic i could literally wear this all day and it's excellent whether it be that you're running or you're moving you're jumping you're sitting down the armor doesn't impede your movement although it's important to also say that if you are wearing the heavy suneate so the heavy greaves then you cannot kneel just keeping that in mind if you order those they, they work great if you're mounted if you're walking if you're running if you're fighting just don't kneel so even though these are two different styles, when it comes to the comfort, they are basically absolutely identical. So if you have experienced wearing the other style of cuirass and you were thinking, but how does this one feel that it's basically one single plate? It feels the same. I cannot report any difference, so you won't have to worry about that. So how can that be? Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, even the one that is made in horizontal bands, well, these horizontal bands don't slide into each other, they are fixed, they don't work like a Roman segmentata, so they basically behave as if they were a one solid plate. It's just a difference in construction and the looks. But both breastplates cut at the natural waist, so that it doesn't influence the way you move. Now, you have heard me say that this is a Gashira level armor, so basically the so-called medium quality, but what's the difference? Well, if you look at the actual cuirass and the way it's made, you'll see that on Iron Mountain Armory's website, they offer three different levels of quality, if you will. Kachi being the lowest, Gashira being the medium quality. Gashira level cuirasses have brass fittings, they have grommets to strengthen the holes and protect any lacing. They have cords on both sides, whereas Kachi level or the lower class would only have them on one side, so you can use that to secure the armor if you remove the side pin. Lacing is made of cotton in this armor, whereas usually the basic quality ones have got synthetic odoshi. The inside lining is leather on Gashira level, it's cloth on Kachi level and the toggles are made of iron, which is traditional, rather than being made of plastic. Last but not least, I love the Kabuto. First of all, the fact that it's made of many single strips of metal at the top, which is a really cool design, and I love the Maedate, so the decoration of the front. Differently from my previous one that you can see here, that instead of having the half moon, I had the sort of, we could say, full moon, you know, the full encircling one. I think they're both cool, but I prefer the Date version. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you prefer this set of armor or did you like the previous one best? Let me know in the comments below. 
as, again, as I say, it's not new, so you have to absolutely check all the pictures. I am going to, of course, the areas that need a little fixing, but because of the conditions, I put the price extremely low. So basically, I'm selling it for 999. Uh, keep in mind that that one I bought it for 2500 plus taxes plus shipping and customs. So you're looking into buying it at a third of the price. And if you are in America, you'll get it like immediately. So absolutely check the link in the description if you want to get this armor before anyone else. Particularly for those of you who are on a budget, this might be the one chance where you can get a complete set of armor for such a low price. Alright noble ones, well I hope that you enjoyed this video, if you did please remember thumbs up and if you're not yet members of this community become a noble one, subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron, thank you very much for watching and remember, the Metatron has spread its wings. Goodbye.